Welcome travelers back to Lorespire. Tonight we're going to be playing Ragesh, the Still Blood Blood Rager, aka Death Knight. We're looking to take the Lich Mythic Path once we get that far along. And uh, I think that we finally got all the bugs worked out uh, tonight. It took me a while, but eventually I was able to ditch Ninio, who last night kept bugging the entire party. But I ditched her. And spent most of my gold to pick up a mercenary. And uh, since I got that mercenary and got rid of Ninio, there haven't been any more bugs. I've tested it out in a few battles, and we seem good now. So... Hopefully we can continue on with the playthrough. We don't have any more issues like we had last night. And right now we're going, uh... Oh, nice. Some rats jumped out at us. They'll beg me to stop. I'll rip you apart. And of course, the very first battle after we start streaming again, we're bugged. Just did like three battles back to back to back without, um, Having any bugs. Go for their hearts. All right, well, sorry about that. The uh, false start, I guess. So, we're going to just go ahead and reload, and it seems like every time I come into the market square here, that's where I'm running up against this little combat bug. So we're just going to go to a different area, and hopefully once we clear some other places, we won't have to worry about the, uh, the bugs anymore. Let's go down here to Topaz Solutions, which is actually where we were when we finished last night. It's an alchemist shop. We don't actually have a quest there, but we were told that we could find some interesting stuff there. So, yeah, let's go check it out. Alright, for the fourth thousandth time we're being attacked by low-level cultists. Oh, well, maybe these are actually, you know, like, uh, our level. Thing is how we're not actually one-shotting them. But I'd still be surprised if, uh, it took us more than, like, two turns to take them all out. There we go. One turn plus, uh, one Windowog. Oh wait, is there another one I can't see? This happened one time before, and even though it wasn't in combat with me, it was like out here in the fog. I had to go hunt, hunt it down and travel all through the fog to find the... There it is. I guess I was wrong. It took more than two rounds. Yeah. 
Only barely. One thing that is nice is that for how incredibly easy those guys are, they do uh, give us a good bit of gold with the loot. And since we had to spend all that cash on a mercenary because of the bug, we could definitely use it. Well, I th think this might be the first time I've ran into a random counter while I was moving through one of these crevices, breaks in the ground on the world map, so maybe it'll be, uh... Well, at least it's not cultists. It's still not difficult, though. Actually, these are a lot worse because... Not only are they going to give basically no experience and just be a waste of time, but they're not even going to give gold. So yeah, that's super annoying. Alright, onward to the alchemy shop. Alright, and now that we can actually use character abilities instead of just auto-attacking, I bet we can clear this place. Hmm. Alright, um... Rely on me. Let's let Sila go first. She's the bravest. Yes, bone shaker on this thing from here. Alright, now this place isn't the most stable. Last night, it was making me move up to the walls. And then I could cast through them or be attacked through them. But only if I move up to it. So, yeah, we're just gonna wait. Let them come to us. The light take you. Although that alchemist could be a problem. I healed her with a heck of a crit. Not even sure if these things have bones. Look, it's making me move. And that's a And if I move up there, then they'll get an attack of opportunity, so it just doesn't make sense for me to do that. But I guess it can make sense for her to do it. And then look, it let her charge, but it didn't let her attack. Alright, there we go. Nope. 
This uh, alchemist shop is definitely buggy as hell. Ouch. Let's see if we can possibly survive this. It'd be nice if that other one would just go over there. Alright, it's gonna let me attack him? Nice. Looks like it is. Alright, alright. Now we're looking at least a little bit better. I think these things are evil, right? No, the mimics are neutral. Lame. Ah, that guy hits hard. What level he is, I don't know. Now let's see if we can at least heal ourselves up. Actually, I think we need to attack first. Let's attack. Of course, we miss. But turn on defensive fighting. What the hell? I can't use my potion now? That is super lame. Hell, I think we're in trouble, folks. This place is buggy. No, we're not going to be able to attack very well until we actually get up inside the room. So I guess we need to definitely fully buff and kind of go all out here as if it were a boss or something. Let's see. Glass. Full strength. She can. No, there's not really anything she can do. He can put a shield on himself at least. Ready for anything. Mage armor.
All right, I think that's about it. Rely on me. Delay your turn, let them move first to get up here. They both missed. Definitely good. Well, let's see if we can just take them out. Nice, nice, okay. That was definitely good and helpful. Blocking us from attacking this time, so maybe we'll have a better chance. There we go, one mimic down. Hurt like hell. No glory uh, without risk. Like fighting defensively. Kill yourself. There we go. That doesn't look too terrible. Really? Maybe move up there for that one? Ah, that's annoying. Look, it's gonna do the same damn thing with her too. Inside the room and just attack the alchemist. Oh, and then it stopped me. Sorry about that. Uh, it's my son, William. Alright, let's see if we can finish this thing off. here see if Wendy dog can maybe finish it off nice you did it good job Wendy spread out so those bombs start hit stop hitting us all I'm afraid it's gonna waste my turn if I do this but I'm gonna try it all right good it didn't this time God, that guy's got some life for some unknown reason. Freaking alchemist tank. Oh, 
Oh crap, does that affect my own? No, it's just enemies. Okay. Guess it failed. One, his AC is not that high. And of course he's going to get to go next after her. What? The potion failed? Wow, okay. I was not aware that potions could fail. I think we're kind of boned again. That guy hits hard. I, mean, I would like to bring Ragesh back, but I'm a I don't think I really have any thing here that can help or save me. Even that, I can't move far enough to really use it. Dude. Alright, I guess we're done. Well, let's go on to the Terabade residence. Although I have a feeling that this area may just be too high of a level for us. Of course, if Ninio wasn't bugged, we'd have a party of six, and that would certainly help a lot, but oh well.
for their hearts. I'll rip you apart. All right. There really shouldn't be such a large discrepancy discrepancy in level between random encounters and the enemies in the uh, instance area. Alright, well, let's check out uh, the Tirabade residence and see what might be going on here. Open your heart to me. We're gonna have to rest soon, anyways, so let's just go ahead and buff up in case we run into something that's not so uh, friendly. That's pretty good. Entranced fighter. <laughs> it looks more like a crusader, but maybe he's being controlled by demons and so I'm going to have to fight him. You go last, Camilla. Melia. Can we get a charge off with Sela? Nope. We sure. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, wow. I don't even see that one there. Let's turn around and do something about that. Well, it seems Windowog really piss them off. That's odd. It's up to you, Camellia. You are today's sacrifice. Really? Well, that's terrible. Uh, 
afraid if I attack with her, then she's just gonna die. Yeah, let's see what happens. Alright. Not as bad as I had feared. One hit. Oh, look, demons joining the fray. A bow bow. Those guys are no joke. Those are, aside from the Minotaur and the Siege, those are definitely the strongest demons I've fought so far. Thing pretty quick style. So come on, Ragesh. Roll high. Nice, nice. At least it doesn't look like any more enemies have joined the fray. So that's good. The spirits demand your blood. She crits for six. She has utility, but man, her damage is just it's quite sad. We should be able to take out this thing on the next turn. Hopefully, it doesn't do anything crazy here. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. Nice. Good job, everybody. Get everybody healed up real quick. It should work. Is it flawed? Magnesium Turinos. Magnesium Turinos. Magnesium Turinos. A bright future oh, that, awaits us. That gets everybody mostly healed. Guess we can live with that for now. You can trust me. Pyramid residence. seeing too much else out here I guess is a good thing all right let's grab this crate of goods 
And then we'll head into the Tirabade residence and see what, uh, what has happened. Whatever it is, is probably not good. What do we have here? Oh, great. So, that guy's gonna run over here and trigger this trap if I can't kill him. Which may not be a big deal, or it might kill all of us. Could go either way. Hmm. I think we're gonna wait. Let him come on. Hopefully that's far enough back to avoid the explosion. Everybody can just... yeah. Oh, never mind. He doesn't trigger it. Well, isn't that lovely? No glory without risk. I guess, you know, he's just like made of helium or maybe he's floating on air because he's so happy about being uh, entranced. This should do it. But either way, I guess it's not that big of a deal. And that one walked even more directly on it. Oh crap, a succubus too? Oh man, we're boned, aren't we? I don't know. I haven't had to fight a succubus, but... That is definitely a cause for concern. I'm not happy about this development at all, to be sure. Go for their hearts. <laughs> Ouch! Um, yeah, let's just have you smite that evil. The light take you. Or, you know, miss that evil completely. I guess that works too. I only hit it for four? It's terrible. Alright, let's rage out and finish these guys off. That was definitely fortunate. Oh. Didn't think he'd hit her. Oh, did that succubus hit her too? Didn't think about that succubus being close enough. better than hitting for four, that's for sure. Later seems to be a lot stronger than what the other one was. I guess we don't really need that yet. Come on, Sila, smite that evil. Into the fray. Heck, that did better than the bone shaker against that thing. Alright, well, at this point, I'm feeling pretty good. The succubus not seem to be nearly as horrible as I thought. 
it might be. Of course, we still lost two party members. But they'll be up after the fight. Oh, nice hit. Now that's what I'm talking about. I'll take a 27 all day long. Especially with a, a one-hander, for sure. There we go. All right. We survived. Freaking lovely. You need to heal yourself, y'all. Hey guys, um, I'm going to have to take a little bit of a break. I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Um, I gotta get something for my son here. Alright, give me like three minutes. All right, everybody. Sorry about that. Just had to get my uh, son William set up uh, real quick. Uh, we don't really have any healing spells left, do we? No reason to pause. All right, we'll just have to be a little bit more careful. With some luck, maybe that was the last fight that was in here. Although our buffs did wear off. Am I not? So that's unfortunate. Oh, what is that? hmm. Secret drawer? Nice, 800 gold, can definitely use that. Your best letter. Nevia, if you're reading this, know that I'm alive and I'm rallying a troop of survivors to rise to the city's defense. We're going to fight our way to Defender's Heart tavern to set up our command there and hold the line until help arrives or if the goddess wills it we'll launch an attack on the gray garrison i love you and i trust that we will see each other again in this world Erebeth. okay because Erebeth had thought that uh anivia was Dead, but I guess was thinking if she wasn't she would come here to the house so she left her a note that, that's cool those two uh, really seem to care about each other I was kind of expecting more than that but hey 800 gold 800 gold because so that's definitely helpful oh and look there's a a cloak that looks like we could definitely uh, use it. Looks like it's an enhanced item. 
and a rapier for Camellia. So maybe her damage will stop being so pathetic. So all right, there was more than just the 800 gold here after all, which is definitely good. Let's see, we just have the basic cold iron rapier that I don't think she started the game off with it, but it's like the second weapon that she got. This is definitely better, although I don't think it'll be as good against demons because it doesn't have the cold iron uh, quality. So we're going to go ahead and put it on for now. And a Cloak of Disguise. This Cloak of Resistance plus one also grants its wearer a plus three competence bonus to stealth checks. So that will go to her since she's the only one we really have with stealth. Actually, I think Amelia might have it, but... Windowogs is definitely higher. Alright, so it wasn't uh, quite as much of a wasted trip as I had originally thought. Got a good amount of gold, some items to sell, and two items we're actually going to use. And there's not anything there worth taking. We're right on the edge of going from light to medium, so let's keep our speed faster. And we're gonna hit up this alchemist shop one more time. I think I might just sneak around and grab what I can without fighting the Alchemist and the two Mimics. They seem to be a little bit beyond us at this time. And then we'll head back to the, uh, the town square and hope that that bug has stopped affecting us while we're in the town square. give them this much they certainly have a wider variety of demons that i was expecting uh seems like every time we fight a demon there's a a new type we haven't seen yet or at least the last three battles there have been and you against the stretch Need to make sure we're using our cold iron ammo. We can do b better damage here. May as well blood rage because we're gonna have to rest anyways. Dretches definitely don't hit very hard anymore. 
But I am a little concerned about that thing. Because he gets plus 11 to his attack, which is definitely concerning. Yeah, hitting for 22 without a crit is a good bit of damage. Switch over to this and see if we can get some better damage from that. Not really. Off defensive fighting. Come on, Windowog, do us proud. And she missed twice. I've been more proud of her at other times, to say the least. How does magic missiles miss? Oh, spell resistance, duh. The inheritor. Right. Oh, nice. Nice job, Sila. Alright. I think Cubus wasn't too terrible since we dropped him really quickly. Looked like he dropped. Actually, I think that was his head coming off, which is a pretty cool effect. I hadn't noticed that before. Yeah, here's this Dretch's arm. Maybe there's been body parts flying all over the place the whole time, and I just haven't noticed. See if we can make it there before we rest. Go ahead and camp out. I like the uh, camping interface better in this game than I did in Kingmaker. But I will say that... Uh, That in King or that in Sorry about that. Um I, I will say that it's kind of annoying that it resets your uh setup for resting so often though. All right, our corruption's not too bad. <clears throat> what we can do in this place. I heed the voice of the spirits. What do you have here? Increased speed from divine rituals. Cool. Give me just one minute.
All right, back. Sorry about that. Let's see what we can sneak around here and find. You need me. Good. Be nice if we had an invisibility spell among us, but we don't. Okay, that is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. and bless ourselves. Put her off over here in the corner. Just in case they attack her. Oh, wow. We activated those guys from, like, through the wall. How the hell did that happen? Maybe Sela can hold them off. Although I'm very doubtful of that. Well, that was fortunate. These things as fast as we can. Ouch. How can they just go right through the damn wall? God, that is lame. Some reason I can't attack that one. I'll cut you wide open. Not like this. All right, guys. Well, it looks like this alchemist house is just. We got to leave this place alone until we're at a higher level. Or at least until we find another party member that's not bugged like Ninio is. We definitely can't do it with our current party setup at our current level. So anyways, it was fun guys. And uh, next time we're going to hit up the square. 
and try to figure out uh, what's going on with that. Hopefully we're not bugged there anymore. Like we were at the beginning of this uh, video. And anyways, uh, thanks for coming up and or thanks for showing up and be sure to check back with Lore Spire for more guides, character builds, playthroughs and stuff for uh, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Please hit like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton and we'll see you next time.